खींच दिया है खींच दिया है या एक पानी की टंकी हुआ करती थी राइट यहाँ पे बहुत पहले वो है तो वो उधर है तो यार ये आउटसाइड था यार तालाब वगैरह रहते थे ये तो मार्शी लैंड था जंगल अंगल
yes, definitely. Sir, put down. Sir, do it, Armando. Sir, pull it, yeah, okay. Pull it, Armando. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
don't know him as a teacher. He's in
Professor Manindra Kumar. Please, Manindra. interaction reignites, it really stays with you. Uh, I said, I'm speaking with experience. Since our reunion, we have been having a reunion every year at some place or the other. And a large number of batchmates do turn up because this experience of re-meeting, you know, uh, meeting each other again is so enriching and so heartwarming that we don't want to give up on this reunion. So, yeah, enjoy. First, uh, okay, Professor Ghosh, to give a quick review of the major achievement of the students this year, the overall championship. Good evening. Uh, it's extremely difficult for me to share anything good when I see Professor Vijay Gupta here. But I remember when I, I Professor Sudhir Mishra was one year senior to me, and when I joined Hall 3, I give him a mess. He said, what is your rank? I gave him a big number. He said, it's a telephone number. <laughs> <laughs> and next semester, next semester, we will use 40 F in fluid. And we were supposed to take that course fluid dynamics and Professor Vijay Gupta was instructor. I did not get F, I did not get a C also. <laughs> but still, but still, I can tell you this. Whenever I see his face. And incidentally, when I was recruited as a faculty member, Professor Vijay Gupta did play a very crucial role. I, I, I should be honest about it, and, and that's the inspiration that uh, I carry uh, to match the expectation. And suddenly one fine morning, Professor Dhande called me and told me, Ghosh, you are going to be Dosa. He's another person whom I could never refuse, because he used to always give me a challenge. Now, you understand as a Dosa, the person whom you have made Dosa, I remember throughout my whole three days, I have I have been broken, breaking all 
the rooms. Anything you name it, jumping from a this our passenger, train, whatever I, I, I cannot tell. Right? Suddenly you have made me go, sir, I go for the hundred. It's a historical mistake you have. <laughs> and uh, my wife scolded me like anything. Hey, you can't learn discipline. You are so indisciplined. And that time, you know, it was very unfortunate. Uh, there is a uh, very popular way of diluting one's frustration is by blaming the youngsters. Unfortunately or fortunately, I had that one quality. I believe in the youngsters. I still am proud of my young days. And that's how I thought I could be able to communicate and connect with our student community. You may be wondering how is our younger generation. Let me assure you that they are better than us. Please believe in this. They are better than us and they will do better than us. Sure. If anybody is telling me something, otherwise, don't worry. Don't worry. And today, when I am sharing with you my experience with my students, whether it is a counseling service, whether it is a gymkhana, I have interacted with five president in gymkhana. Fantastic people. To see the way they have helped in governance, the way they have managed, calibrated all social pressures, and building a common uniform goal. That is unbelievable. And I have become a much better person by being with them. <coughs> whether it is a festival, Kannada festival, whether it is participation in the academic review, whether it is general discipline, or, or doing notorious things, quality notorious things. They have been always excellent. Sometime I was hearing yesterday somebody was expressing about the placement. This platform, I, 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 I object to that. Our placement has been the best for the last three, four years. Absolutely no one should have a doubt about it. Okay? And coming back to the sports, thanks to Professor Dhande and his team members, I think of the last eight to nine years, infrastructures were built very easily. He had a vision, the selection of coaches. We have got plenty of NIS coaches. And the first time this, this year, our men, they have won the general championship one. We have created five international records. The second thing, our girls, where they have participated hardly 70% of the event, they have come third by two or three points. And they have also excellent, uh, almost on the top in, uh, in athletics. Our girls will be doing much better, you see that. And uh, with this proud share, uh, share uh, I, I want to again reiterate that our boys, our girls, the younger generation, are very, doing very well and they will make sure that our IIT can't go to the top. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, Ajay. Uh, some of the things which uh, I was asked by Madan that I should highlight, so I would like to highlight one thing which Madan and Professor Dhande worked for the new office. I don't know if you are, all of you have got that mail from Professor Manna and me. New York office is now up and running. And it is just next to Wall Street, 10, 10 meters, and it is run, and it is a space which has been donated by uh, Marin's uh, batchmate, Sanjeev Khosla, who runs a trading firm in Wall Street. It was a delight to be there, and uh, some of the things which this office will do are <coughs> faculty recruitment, which is really uh, a major issue for us, and uh, Madin can discuss later in detail. So we are we are short in faculty. So how do we <coughs> get people to can't put first of all? And it's a major drawback to this. So that office is going to help us. And Sanjeev and Madin worked out a strategy. And I will, as a follower of Madin, carry it on the way it has been designed. The second thing which this office is doing right now, as I was there uh, ten days ago and had a chat with Sanjeev, trying to place interns from IIT Kanpur into the US and he's talking to three, four universities. So this really helps. The man, our man is right there. I call him the outpost of Kalyanpur, right there on the near next to Wall Street. I think that probably from the alumni point of view is extremely new and important. And which I would like all of you to share as to what the things we are doing. The third thing which the office is doing is of course fundraising. So 
these are the three items from my side where we have basically tried to focus and have a presence in North America through New York. Next thing which we have here is our international office has been quite revamped and uh, we are trying to go ahead with many more international students through exchange MOUs and we have signed very recently, I think uh, it had started in Professor Dante's time with the NUS Singapore. So now you can have a joint degree between IITK and NUS Singapore. On the same piece of paper you have both the embryos. So that is the thing from what we call as our international footprint which has been lacking and a lot of people have been mentioned. So these are the two things which I thought I would mention and others you just be here, enjoy and have fun. And I would like to mention one story because somebody reminded me this morning. In the mid-80s, I was doing my PhD and I thought I was a part-time lecturer. So I was teaching and also <coughs> studying. And once in a while I will go to Hall 3 and join the ragging sessions. And I was also a faculty counselor. Fine. So I did rag someone and then he complained. He said, I'm going to complain to my faculty counselor. I said, who is the faculty counselor? He said, Prabhat Munshi. I ran away from there. Yeah. So that, that image I still have. And then I invited him to my house. Later on, two weeks later, he was aghast that I was the one who was ragging him. So with this little funny note, I would like to uh, welcome all of you from my behalf. And uh, I'll hand it over back to me. Well, uh, that's, I guess, what the bees have to present to you as far as the institute developments in the institute is concerned. I mean, I'd like to add to that a little bit. Uh, from the times that you were here, as far as the academic programs are concerned, I guess, uh, for Hande is here, and uh, a lot of people who can probably correct me if I miss out something. <coughs> Uh, the design program has been added. Uh, we have a new uh, B.Tech, M.Tech, Ph.D. program in bioscience, bioengineering. The environmental engineering program, which was part of the civil engineering stream, is now an interdisciplinary program in uh, environmental engineering and management. And uh, integrated MSc in economics. Yes, that's one of the most uh, significant things that we've done. I mean, like. Uh, MSc integrated, uh, a five-year MSc integrated program in economics. So that would be the kind of uh, very unique brand of uh, economics graduates who would have done TA 101 and TA 201 and stuff like that. So it's a very different kind of a program. Very well appreciated if you go to placement statistics, the placement officers will share that they are doing very well as far as placement is concerned. Yes, MS. Now, uh, another thing which we and you're aware that we do is we revamp our uh, undergraduate academic program periodically. The last academic review took place a uh, couple of years ago, and 2011, that's two years ago, uh, we implemented that. That means the batch in 2011 is now with the new scheme. And in that new scheme, we brought in a lot of uh, changes from the old uh, systems. One of them was introduction of a uniform four-year undergraduate program, that is BTEC four years, and we did away with the five-year integrated program in physics, chemistry, and mathematics, introducing a BS degree in physics, chemistry, and mathematics. I mean, it's probably called, it's not called, it's not called mathematics, it's called uh, something else, but it's a four-year degree. So that was a first in its kind in India where we said, well, uh, it's not a three-year degree that universities offer, it's not a five-year degree that we used to offer, it's something in between. But that's what the way we thought that that's the best the way forward. Uh, another change that took place, those of you who are following the changes in education in India at the university level, we had this uh, dual degree program, so M-Tech and B-Tech, you uh, kind of entered into B-Tech and Tech dual degree program. That dual degree admission through the JE has been uh, done away with in a manner of speaking. Everybody gets admitted to the B-Tech program. And then, after you've gone through maybe two years of 
uh, education here and then those people who are motivated who kind of feel that they want to change their program to more work in uh, a particular area in their discipline, they have the option of changing to a dual degree program. So they change into a dual degree program as they go along. So these are some of the things that we've done as far as our academic uh, curriculum is concerned. So as far as the numbers is concerned, uh, primarily undergraduate, uh, if you look at your batches, our batches, I should say, we were almost around 250 students to a batch. And now the intake is uh, close to 850. So that has led to a huge amount of increase. In fact, the total student strength on campus, uh, I joined back in 94. At that time also, it was close to about 2,000. We want to take about a couple of hundreds. Now, I think we have about 6,200 people on campus. So that has led to a lot of uh, infrastructure development, in the sense, hostels, uh, and so on, lecture hall complexes, the lecture hall complex has been added, and all that kind of stuff. So, a lot of things have been happening on campus. Now, instead of throwing a presentation at you and kind of going through this once again, uh, what brought, uh, when she had suggested was that with this we can more or less kind of stop our uh, bowling or batting, whichever you want to call it, and invite questions from you so that if you're interested in a particular kind of uh, area or you would like to know more about it, maybe one of us or several of us can pitch in and kind of answer those questions for you. Please do feel free to ask what's going on at the institute and we'll try to answer that. The biggest question I have in my mind is why have we dropped in the ranking compared to I think we used to be number one in our side. Uh, the I think this is the director. So the director takes the director. Okay. I guess we'll say in the box here. Can you hear me? So there is not one reason, as you can expect, there are multiple reasons for this to have happened. So let me just enumerate uh, some of the key reasons. Uh, first is a reason which has always been there, the city of Kanpur. So compared to Delhi or Bombay, clearly Kanpur is not a city where somebody would like to spend four years of their lives. Uh, but it was, like I said, it was a reason earlier as well. Still, a lot of good students came to Kanpur. Why is that? The reason is that earlier, IIT Kanpur was so much better than other IITs that students were willing to come to Kanpur despite it being Kanpur. Now that gap, that large gap, has shrunk. <laughs> so now, when there are multiple choices available to a student of roughly the same quality, then the other issues become a bigger, you know, they play a more important role. Uh, second is uh, the coaching culture, uh, which is uh, sort of, uh, I, mean, if it, I don't know if you have, some of you have experience with the quota the classes. Uh, there it's a very commonly used phrase that if you want to study, go to IIT Kanpur. If you want to have a good time, so this is also something that and students for after two years of their very very hard you know back breaking you know, studies they say that once we are qualified into JE we want to have a good time we don't want to do four four years of study this is simplifying things a lot to a large extent but roughly the I'm just trying to highlight some ways summarize some key reasons. For this, this change in, change in uh, a third is a kind of a misperception, which uh, Dosa just pointed that out. Somehow the impression has gone around that the placement at IIT Bombay or IIT Delhi is better than the placement at IIT Science, which actually is not true. But we have not been very proactive in countering this perception. So 
I'll take an interview with him. It's fine whether he does. So it's a meeting place. Well, we should be happy with that. But clearly that is not, uh, that is uh, sufficient as to the measure of the so There is something we need to uh, think about on that aspect. So, so these are the three key reasons. So if anybody wants to add to this. Yeah. That's one of the very key issues. Yes. So, uh, like just now, Professor Munchi mentioned, we are uh, becoming very proactive in uh, recruiting faculty. And one of the con consequences of that is the uh, opening of New York office. Through the, because about 70% of the faculty we recruit are from the U.S. They, they are, we have done their PhD or postdoc in the U.S. and they come back to the U.S. So clearly that is a place where we are going to get a large, very large number of faculty. And with that in mind, we have started this office with the uh, aim of reaching out to these potential faculty and uh, convincing them that they should I just one, but that's only one aspect. The second is that we have to keep in mind the challenge uh, of that we face in the in Kanpur as compared to a metropolitan city. That uh, the uh, perhaps the the uh, no, just the life is not as exciting, and also the spouse employment becomes a big challenge. Increasingly so these days because these days spouses are nearly always professionals who are looking for a good employment opportunities. Now Kanpur City doesn't have as many employment opportunities at all. So to address that we have created a spouse employment cell which runs under the faculty office which tries to find jobs for spouses. And Third aspect that we have taken, uh, this year or the initiative that we have taken, is to offer very attractive terms to a new faculty. In terms of uh, startup grants, we, I believe, have the start, highest startup grants among all IITs to a new faculty. And second, we also pay them uh, additional salary for the first three years in order to help them set up their you know, household and other stuff. Uh, when a new faculty joins, his salary is a, a minimum, and that's the time he or she like, needs a large, uh, 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 significant amount of money to just set up the house. So that to augment that need, we are providing 25,000 rupees per month additional salary for the first three years. And I should also add that this additional salary we are not getting from government sources. Government simply provides us with the salary. So we have to raise this additional amount ourselves and we take help of alumni and uh, other beneficiaries to help us in this way. Uh, I'd just like to add to what uh, Osagoal said, and that is uh, one of the ways that the Institute would like to engage with the alumni would be to act as ambassadors in uh, identifying people with, who are working with you or uh, those of your academic community, your students, and so on. That's one part. But the second part of it is uh, alumni who are working. There are different kinds of options which are available in the institute and we are um, very uh, proactively pursuing them is to spend time in the institute as a visiting faculty, acting faculty, and so on, so that uh, you come see what actually goes on here. Now, a lot of things have changed. If you experience the kind of things that are going on here now, probably you'll be better off and you'll be more convincing when you talk to others about uh, faculty opportunity, open employment opportunity that I can come to. One final point, and just to highlight, uh, uh, give uh, data to support that our initiatives are very improved. This calendar year, we have been able to make 48 offers to faculty. 32 have accepted. 
seven or eight are still considering, and the rest are uh, taken up on our own. So we are making good progress in terms of recruiting faculty. And our target is to recruit at least 100 faculty over the next couple of years. Excuse me. I guess getting projects from corporates and maybe from the government sector could be one of the very important reasons and uh, a prime factor. Uh, what are the steps taken by the IIT to rope in the services of alumni who are heading many corporations, they are running their own corporates, many of them are in the government sector holding good position to get the projects from those organizations? student outreach program who are basically making telephone calls to all alumni and their objective is first find out where our alumni are. That is also one of the major efforts which we have taken up in the last 50 years. Once we identify, they, the students themselves write, they said, and then the, the faculty also gets involved. So the, the, our front line is the students first because they are the ones who are going out and reaching out to the alumni. And then the, the, the message is sent to the faculty that we have, we, have different, we have different alumni in different sectors and we are trying to raise them as a group. But what you are saying that we don't have a database where, for example, I was trying to find out and Varind was trying to help me earlier. Uh, uh, we have something called IIT Things, the IIT Kanpur in Government Service. And we are trying to get them together, but so far we have not been successful because trying to get even 40 people at a given time of various government services, let's say in Delhi, has not been made possible. But individual contacts, yes, they are there. Sir, I think uh, roping in the services of the students uh, probably to get the projects, I am not too sure. But uh, probably what is required is a professional setup in IIT Kanpur who would be in touch with the corporates and the individuals at an individual level rather than trying to contact in a mass scale and uh, reach to the corporates to get the product. Yeah, that's true. Actually, this is only one part of it. There is a, the under green R&D office. There is a new, about a year old cell, which is industrial design cell. And that has started working. It is not yet reached at a level where there is a very strong uh, uh, connect with the industry. Also, at individual faculty level, there are uh, lots of projects which go on with it. But in a more structured way, we have started working on it, but we still have some way to go. So, it is called ICAG, ICAG. Is, uh, so, I said, this is only a year old.